Hey you guys, welcome. We're gonna have a book haul. We haven't had them, I think, in a while. Feels like, or at least it feels that way. I'm not sure. <laughs> so some of these are for this school year. Some are for fun. Some are for our morning baskets, which I'm gonna do in another video, hopefully in a week or two, showing what kind of books we're using this year. Hoping to slow down a little bit with our morning baskets. Have some nice slow mornings, and that's been fun. <laughs> okay. I don't know, he's, trying, he's preparing for this video. There is a lot of books, so we're gonna get started. Yes, I'm Joanna. I'm Jam. And this is How We School. Cha -cha. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Do you wanna start from me? Hmm. Okay, so we have a lot of books. I'm just gonna start by saying that. Um, so this might be a long one, hopefully not. We won't go hopefully too into detail on each one. Um, so these were purchased at Book Outlet, Amazon. Okay. Amazon. And our local used bookstore. And our local used bookstore. All right, and I'm gonna let Jam start. Go ahead. Don't lose your page. He's reading this one Sonic right now. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic and Tails. Best buds forever. And this is a graphic novel, correct? Okay. Why don't you show a few more? Before, oh, you lost your page. Why don't you show a few more real quick then? Go ahead. There was an old lady. Who swallowed Fly Guy? No! So he still really likes Fly Guy books. Here's a hint. Watch this. Wait, not trying to make the video and 40 she minutes. Swallowed Fly Guy. He really still likes Fly Guy. And just then, okay. Grandma sw swallowed a spider <laughs> to catch Fly Guy. And he'll read these repeatedly just she for fun. They make him laugh. To catch the spider, she swallowed a cat. To catch the bird. All right, we can't read the whole book online. Okay, so that's his first. Oh, look it so you don't repeat it. Fly guy. Super fly guy. Yes. And he's trying to get the whole collection. Am I correct? Yes. I mean, these are super easy books I don't for him. Have, um, they're super easy, but he really still enjoys them. Have, so why not? Now. All right, move on to your next one. What would you like to share next? Two more. Pick two more. Oh, you really like this one. 50 Real Heroes for Boys. Uh, this is a new one. He really liked this one. And it says for boys, which I really, um, you know, it's cute because I'm gifting it to him or I gifted it to him. But um, there's, women. there's women and men in there for him to um, look up to. So I really like that. Oh, there it is. His, his favorite page. He's going to show you guys. I know. I'll help you hold My it. My favorite author. Dave Pilkey. <laughs> and that is someone he already looks up to. So that was dog perfect man. that it was in there. Dog yes. man. The author of the dog, dog man books. Careful, he was me. So when he saw that, he knew that he loved that book. And that's one of the ones that's been in our morning basket. There's a dragon in my backpack. We got this one at our local used bookstore. Yep. He picked this one out himself. Now okay, and now I'm gonna go because he's gonna read a little bit of his Sonic book. All right, the this was a new one we got, Berry Song by Michaela Goad, and I think that's how you pronounce her last name. And I got this because we have her, we are water protectors book, and we really love that. And her artwork is amazing. Let's see if I can. There's a page that I just oh, that is amazing to me. If I can find it, I probably should have tabbed it. Right, that would have made sense. All right, well, you know, when you can't find it, you'll just use any page you find. I mean, the artwork is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It is um, for the younger crowd, but we still really like this, and we enjoyed it during berry picking. And he's my little strawberry baby, because he's a June baby. Be a Good Ancestor by Leona Prince and Gabriel Prince. This book is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. We have read this multiple times because we loved it so much. It's been in our morning basket. It's not just the illustrations, it's the words of this book. Be a good ancestor with water. Raindrops become puddles, puddles become streams, streams become rivers, rivers become life. Um, let me just go to another page. Here's another one. Look at the, you can see the life cycle of the salmon on there. You dropped your book. Be a good ancestor with living things that swim. Eggs become Don't fry. Show it all. I'm not. Fry become alevins. Alevins become sockeyes. Sockeyes become nourishment. 
Uh, let's see. And here's, let's see, here's another page. And this will be the last one. I My goodness. He keeps dropping his book. Sorry, that's really, really loud. Be a good ancestor with your thoughts. Thoughts become ideas. Ideas become actions. Actions become movements. Movements become change. So that gives you an idea of what this book is like. I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. Around the World in 80 Trees is another one we just got because we will be doing botany this year. Oh, so the, the back of the, most of the sauna yes. books, they have like pictures. Oh. <laughs> so this one is on trees. It's gorgeous as well. And then you go, so here's the trees in the Americas. And then, you know, you have your city trees. It's just gorgeous record breakers. And you're going through the Americas there. And then you go, obviously, Amazon rainforest. Then you go to other continents and such. It's really beautiful. Um, I like there was something else it had in here. Let's see if I find it. Probably Again, I'm really not prepared. Why trees need our health and other little things like that in there. It's really beautiful. Look at that cover. Oh, my gosh. I got high Hiawatha, I hope I pronounced that right, and The Peacemaker. And this is by Robbie, Robbie Robertson and David Shannon. And this is, again, gorgeous. And we got this one because Julian did learn about The Peacemaker this year and, their, and the law he made. So I went ahead and picked this book up. We have not read this one yet, so I'm excited to read it. I got this one at my local used bookstore, Leaflets 3, Let It Be. This is the story of Poison Ivy. So I thought this would be nice. Once again, we're doing a botany unit, so I thought that would be nice. I have been eyeing this book and it was on Book Outlet, so I picked it up. Blue says, embark on a vibrant journey through the history of the color blue. I have not read it yet, so I cannot tell you anything about it. Just that the pages are beautiful. Sorry, I hit your book. Did not mean to. All right. Do you want to share somebody or should I keep going? Okay, I'll share five more. I have Native okay, American five. Stories for Kids, 12 Traditional Stories from five. Indigenous Tribes Across North America by Tom Picor Wesso. And it's just that it has a few illustrations. I got For Which We Stand, How Our Government Works and Why It Matters by Jeff Foster. So we're not probably going to get into this this school year or maybe towards the end of fifth grade um, government and such. But I know that I needed to be sure I'm looking ahead. So I needed something that was going to be simple to the point. I can teach him government with it and he would get it. So far, I've been reading through it slowly, but so far, so good. I'm really liking it and um, we will hopefully be using it. So that's another one I got. Here's another one I got. DK on this day, a history of the world in 366 days. Now this is really cool because it has a page for each day. So um, the other day we read, let's August 1st. See if I can get there. Here we are. It says also on this day in 1834, the Slavery Abolition Act came into force, um, ending slavery in the British Empire. Uh, 1944, during World War II, the Warsaw Uprising began when resistance fighters in Warsaw, Poland, attempted to end German rule, and so on. And then it goes, it gets all the way to like 2015 with the robot glow trotter who made it safe through the Netherlands, Germany, and Canada and ended its journey in the U.S. in Philadelphia when it was destroyed. So I like this. It's fun little tidbits for each day of things that happened on that day. So I really enjoyed that one. All right. Why don't you share a few now? I'll hold your page down like that. Go ahead. I'm not going to read them. Oh, okay. You're done for now. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Which one do you want to share? Rise of the world. World what? Eat oh. <laughs> By Jamie Little. And we, ha they, can't, they can't see the book. 
So we picked this one up, uh, I think from Book Outlet because we have the other ones in the series and we didn't have this one. All right. And this does have illustrations in it too that are also done by Jamie Littler. All right, go ahead, what's next? Uh-huh, go ahead. It doesn't oh, matter this which one's one. first. Yeah, go ahead, share it. <laughs> Some graphic novels. Card or Kingdom. The Cardboard Kingdom by Chad Sell. Go ahead, and the other one, these are graphic novels, go ahead. Cardboard Roar of the Beast. Roar of the Beast. So we had taken this out of the library and you never got it around to reading it. So I went ahead and purchased them since we never got around to reading it from the library and we had to return it. Go ahead. Read it so they can hear you. Vulture, be slime. And nature's other composers. So I got this from <laughs> I got this from book outlet. From book outlet. Because it looked like something somebody here would like because it's rotten. Alright. What's next? Harriet Tom. War Freedom. And it's another graphic novel. You want to show them inside? Oh, that was fast. Yep, so another graphic novel, and this one is by Wick Taylor and Casimir Lee. Mm. Okay, go ahead, what would you like to share now? Dog Man, Lord of the Flames! Um, another favorite mm. dog man, he reads Dog Man all the time. Like he said, Dave Pilkey is his favorite author, and he did not have this one. He got it at the used bookstore to add to his collection, because he's trying to collect them all. Oh, and they have these things in here. Ah, go ahead. Called flip o -ramas. The flip o -ramas, where you hold the page and you kind of... Do you want me to hold it for you so you can do it? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I am. And then I'll right here. Oh. You need, I'll hold this here? And your other hand right here. Okay. Now what? It says put your left hand here. Uh-huh. Okay, here. And then your thumb right here. Okay, go ahead and do that, though. And then... What do you do? Hmm. Don't break the page. Did you? Here, it's easier when you're holding the book. Okay. You put your left hand here, and then right thumb here, and then with your right thumb. Okay. Well, then how about I just? Hold, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Keep holding it like that, and just flip it there. There you go. Go ahead. F faster, right? So you can see it. It's like it's, they're moving. He loves those pages. Go ahead. What's next? Sorry, our table's very creaky. What to do about baseball? And why did we get this one? Baseball. He loves baseball, and we read last year. Um, Midsummer Mayhem. By this, oh, you're shaking the whole camera. By this author, and we loved it so much that we wanted to read this book by her May. as well. So Go ahead. What's next? Wild rescue. A Minecraft inspired adventure. So, if you go back a few videos where Julian discussed, hold on, you're really shaking the table. On <laughs> the reviewed some books he read, he had read one of the Wild Rescuers, and he didn't feel that great about it. And then he read a different book. What did you read that made him feel like, yes, I did enjoy the Wild Rescuers, and now he wanted to try book two. So we're gonna give book two a try now. Hopefully, he likes it now. Sorry if this camera keeps shaking. The table is horrible. Okay, go ahead. Young who D me. The magician's what? The magician's fire. He picked this one out at the used bookstore. He said he would like it as a read aloud this school year. Oh, young, young. He used to be obsessed with Houdini for a while. I still am. Oh, sorry, he still is. So, all right. What's your other one? Yes. Hopefully we'll. I don't think, yeah, we should take too much longer. Ben Franklin and the Magic School. So we'll probably be reading this one this school year. I still get these step into reading books because it's just nice to have a little nonfiction book oh, that yeah. he can read very easily and quickly. Oh, Mom, they yes. have um, a fifth grade one. No, it's not fifth grade. It's 
uh, level, a step five, which is for grades two to three. This is yeah, grades two, two to, to four, three. Two to four. Oh, sorry. Yes, grades two to four. This is four, which is grades two to three. Yeah, but I think we should get five. Yeah, I just, oh, hold on, let me see. I got to move my table a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, So I get these because they're just easy for him to read, super easy. So it's just a little bite and it's nice. Okay, what else? Stolen science. Yes, this is about, what does it say the front? 13 untold stories of scientists and inventors almost written out of history. So I'm sure there was a lot of women in there. <laughs> Probably almost written out of history for their um, science work. And let's see. So, All right, and his last book, go ahead. He's already read it. Go ahead, share it. Wait, I just want to see something. Oh, like no, but why don't you share it I first, know, Julian? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we're never going to finish. Right? Batman. And Robin. And Howard. <laughs> Go ahead and show the, the cover. Howard. Right. You want to show the cover? No? There you go. Who's it by? Jeff. Jeffrey Barrow. Yep. This is funny. That. It's okay. This is my friend Howard. He knows knows what. <laughs> so he picked that one out as well at the used bookstore, but it's brand new, so we paid full price for it there. Um, but you, we're still supporting the the local store, so it was fine. He read it. He loved it. Yes, That's all my books. That's all your books. All right, let me go. I got this from Book Outlet. Yes, The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. I've heard good things about this one. And we have The War I Finally Won. I don't think we'll do it this year. I think they're going to be for next year, but it's good to have them both now. So I was excited to get that. I picked up The Forest of Stars because I've heard good things about it. This is by Heather Kastner. And we read The Plentiful Darkness by her, which was in one of our... I will create, create junior boxes and we really enjoyed it. So it was dark though, right? And creepy. Yeah. And this one, I'm wondering if it's going to be the same vibe. Same vibe. I said vibe. Oh, goodness. Same vibe and enjoy it in October. This is um, what everyone's like in, in the darkness. And I got Walking with Miss Millie by Tamara Bundy. I've heard really good things about this one, about a girl who has to walk her neighbor's dog, but the, the dog won't go without the neighbor. And while well, her and the elderly neighbor end up talking and, you know, she learns a lot from her. Let's see. I got a bunch of those Who HQ books. We've got Who is Malala Yousafzai? Wait, what's Who um, HQ? That. This is right there. Hmm. So I got that one. We got Who Was Charles Darwin. Go ahead. Who Was Walt Whitman? Who Was Thomas Alva Edison? Who's that one? Yep, who is it? Ferdinand Marchand. Just because we, we really enjoyed watching his um, journey, his trip. <gasps> <laughs> Go ahead. Who is it? Who, is, who was Confucius? Yep, who was Confucian? And where is Chichen? And where is Chichen Itza? How will you would like to be treated? Um, and where is Chichen Itza? Why do they all have big heads? I don't know. That's just the style of the covers. I never noticed that till now that you yeah. said it. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. I got Sadaku and the Thousand Paper Cranes. I got this at my used bookstore. Um, I've heard really good things about it, so I picked it up. I picked up Frindle at my used bookstore, and this is by Andrew Clements. And I picked this up because this was my daughter's, one of her favorite books she read um, in elementary school. And I just remember it so well and the cover and everything. So I thought he might enjoy it. We got Hate That Cat by Sharon Creech also at our used bookstore. And we picked it up because we read, hold on, Love That Dog from Sharon yeah, Creech for, I know, for um, Lightning Literature in fourth grade. He doesn't like that I said H-A-T-E, so sorry. But that was the title, I didn't mean to say it. Um, I picked up A Wolf for a Spell at my used bookstore, and I mean, that cover, right? Oh, and then, Don't judge a book by its cover. I don't know, I'm, I hope not to. But look at, I mean, look at it, right? I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be time. good. Don't judge um, Ooh, it has Baba Yaga. Bobby, you got? 
How about you go? Sorry. Um, he's kind of interested in that, so we're going to be reading. Oh, yes. that's cool. Yeah, you can, it's hard to see, but there's like an imprint of a, yeah, there you go. Kind of see it in the light of like a wolf maybe or a fox. And a wolf. A wolf. Um, very fun so wolf this, stuff. I'm, I think it's like based off fairy tales, so I'm super excited for this one as well. And then the last one I got, because I've heard so many things, and who doesn't love Kate DiCamillo? I picked up the Beatrice Prophecy. And I'm hoping it's just as great as all her other books. And I'm looking forward to reading it. It seems like it's going to be a pretty quick read. And, oh, I have two more. You're right. Sorry, guys. Uh, I got The Length of a String. I got this one at uh, Book Outlet. I don't remember. There was something about this one that I really liked. Um, I don't remember right now what it was about. But I remember thinking, oh. What about the... Imani the knows exactly what she wants as her big bat mitzvah gift to find her birth parents. Yes. Um, so it sounded really nice. What's the other cover? What cover? This one? No. Oh, I don't know. Um, and then I got uh, Healer of the Water Monster by Brian Young. I've been wanting this one and it was at the used bookstore, so I picked it up. And I believe that is it. all the books now. Yes. Picture books, chapter books, nonfiction books, all kinds of books for the house so a lot of them are for this year some are for next year some are for our morning baskets some are hey, to go with whatever oh, some are for to go with whatever we're studying and which one are you most excited about one which one are you most excited for sonic sonic that's fair i believe it and uh, that's his honest answer i'm very excited about on this day when i first opened it up or i was like oh it wasn't what i much was... do about baseball. much do about baseball i'm excited about that one too or cardboard kingdom or cardboard kingdom I was that excited when I opened or on this day because, oh, you love that one, um, because it didn't look like what I thought it was going to be on oh, the inside. The <laughs> so all of them. Um, but now that we've started using it, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying those little tidbits each day. So that's fun, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed this book haul. Um, you already saying bye? I'm not done talking. Should I be quiet? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're so glad you guys stopped by. We hope you enjoyed this book haul. We hope you found some books you might like and enjoy in your home, um, either to purchase or to borrow from the library. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. And that's a wrap. Bye. Bye.